Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight Show. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-two. When you see a guy in a striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Nice losing punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Straight right hand, no good. Big head kick. Oh! Oh, straight right. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. 25 total strikes unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. Back and forth we go here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big ball punch man. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, good head movement there. He has the strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot land. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Big elbow there. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Just missed with the left there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own. So aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get to some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pepper Nogoshea! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights into...